factorize completely 27x squared minus 48y squared. Now, looking at these numbers, a factor is common to them, and that factor is 3. 27 and 48 can divide 3. So I'm going to bring out 3 and introduce a bracket. So 27x squared divided by 3, I'll be left with 9x squared. And then 48y squared divided by 3, I'll be left with 16y squared. Now, this factoring is not yet complete because the terms inside the bracket can still be factored. So I have 3. Now, this 9x squared can be expressed as 3x all squared because the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x squared is x. So that when you expand this again, it takes you back to 9x squared. Similarly, this can be expressed as 4y all squared. Now, there's a rule that says when you have a squared minus b squared, it can be factored as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So this is the rule we are going to apply because this is a difference of two square, just like we expressed here. So 3x squared minus 4y squared. Now, for us to factor this, we are going to exp express it in this form because it's a difference of two square. So the 3 that is outside the bracket, and I introduce it here. And then I have 3x, just like this, minus 4y, just like we expressed here. So it becomes 3x minus 4y. And then I open up another bracket. I'm still going to say 3x plus 4y, just like this second bracket is indicating. So I have 3x plus 4y. And this is a completed factored form. So please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you.